London may be a far cry from West Africa, but with the fifth largest foreign community belonging to Nigerians, their influence in the capital is becoming increasingly apparent. How is Nigerian culture adding to life in the capital? Embracing your cultural heritage is very important for most Africans today. I'm here at the African Roots Exhibition where we can just take a look at how London is beginning to embrace the traditional culture. With a number of exhibitions and festivals celebrating Nigeria's crafts and heritage and the rising popularity of modern Nigerian Afrobeat music, this explosion of interest in Nigerian culture has given rise to London's own Nigerian festival. It all started you know, early, early 2000, I think around 2001, 2002, when Nigerian music started you know, getting you know, access into the UK entertainment industry and also the Nigerian movie as well. At least that has impact you know, the young Nigerians and also other Africans to actually really want to go deep and learn more. The Nigerian Carnival has shown the interest that people have for, for the project because of some of the cultural heritage that we display on the day. Growing increasingly popular amongst Westerners, the music industry is just one of the elements making its mark in the city. People are beginning to, to, to feel it. People are beginning to appreciate the sound. You know, you don't have to be Nigerian to understand my music. You know, I speak English and most of my songs are in English. And then the, the melody and the rhythm is something that is universal. It's, it's something that's not limited to just the Nigerian audience. Looking for someone to satisfy me. Looking for someone to love me completely. Looking for someone to show me true love. Same way as hip hop has influenced our culture, Nigerian music has also influenced our culture, even down to the way we eat, the way we dress, the way we talk. The music, culture, fashions, been like seen on the same kind of wavelength as the European UK London thing as you would say. So I think yeah they've definitely influenced it a lot. Nigeria's customs, traditions and culture appeals to multicultural London and is now influencing tastes in fashion. Arise magazine is it's a global quarterly title. It's very high-end, um, large format. What we do is we celebrate um, all things African. African fashion is definitely um, influencing the international catwalks. I mean, it always has done in terms of inspiration. You know, Yves Saint Laurent in the 60s, who was actually born in Africa, putting African dresses, also called African dresses, on the catwalk. You know, it's always been this flavor in fashion. Despite the rising popularity of Nigerian fashion and music, Nigerians are often linked with negativity in the media, which still needs to be addressed. We have a stigma of, of Nigerians being corrupt and Nigerians being criminals, but I think that over the years that's changing. By becoming more and more successful in certain fields has made people look at Nigerians differently and, and understand that we're not just here in this country to take. And I think that we're creating a lot more jobs and we're doing things that I would say that, that is giving back to this community a lot more than taking away from it.